Hey guys, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. The things that we're going to need are some canvases, some crayons, some glue, and a hairdryer. I can imagine it's getting really, really messy, so we're going to need something like newspaper to cover my surroundings, otherwise we're going to get wax everywhere. That's not good. Do we have any newspaper? Use yeah. newspaper or something, otherwise this is not going to work at all. Well, I found an old um, phone book, so I'm going to be using that for the floor because I don't want to get it all over the floor. Okay, so I'm pretty much done here with the whole paper thing. Um, I really, really failed here. Um, I don't know if you can tell how terrible this is. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I just get the, the stuff everywhere. Cause, oh, please stay. Please stay. Then you're going to get your wax crayons. Um, I've already gone through these and the colours I won't be using are at this end. Because, you know, they're really boring. And the colours I will be using are all up here. You know, they're really nice and bright and yay! Okay, so now I've got to arrange these all in like a rainbow colour order thing so I know where to stick them on. Okay, so we've got them all into a nice rainbow order and luckily for me they fit pretty much exactly the size of my canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these on I think and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got the design I want for it. It's going to be just inspire and I might have it like down the bottom here. Like, so it's kind of like that on there, maybe. but um, I have no idea how I'm going to get that onto that, but I just, I guess I'm going to have to like draw it on. I've just copied down um, this on here, it's not very good, that in, that bar, this is just like the best I could do, because I kind of had to like sellotape it on and then I had to like draw over it, so the the ink would run all the way through and leave a sort of like template for it because I didn't know how else to like do this but there you go and it's like all the way ah. now we're going to glue them on to a piece of cardboard because I don't want the crayons on the actual canvas itself because I, I don't know it looks really weird so I'm just going to have it so they all drip down onto the canvas but like they're not attached to the canvas so I'm going to glue them in a rainbow order how long this piece of cardboard? Okay, after a very, very long time of trying to set this up, I have sort of managed to get it somewhat stable. Um, it's sellotaped. It's, the, the crowns are glued, sellotaped. Um, the cardboard is sellotaped to the back of the easel. Um, there's pegs. <laughs> it's literally just such a palaver.
what it looks like afterwards, sort of. Um, as you can see, that, um... <laughs> oh, it's crazy. L look at it all. I want to take it off, but I'm scared it's going to be, like, a total mess when I take it off. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, I'm really happy with it. I didn't think it was going to go so well. I thought it was going to be terrible. And that's my video on how to make a melted crayon art thingy. Yeah, I think it went pretty well. I didn't think it was gonna go that well, but it did. And I'm thinking it's really, really cute, and it's really easy as well. I mean, like if I if I manage to do it, then I'm sure you can. Um, I'll write a list of things and uh, quick instructions in the description below. Um, you should have a try because it's fun and it's really adorable and, you know, get creative. You don't have to, like, write something. You can do anything. You can make anything you want. And if you, like, go on Tumblr or Google or something, I'm sure you'll find, like, loads and loads of other things to inspire you to do it.